Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Roots of Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil? Yggdrasil? I don't know, your guess is as good as mine, I'm not quite sure. Roots of that word there, the one that begins with Y that I can't say properly, and this is a roguelike deck building city builder game. So we play as Sunna, who is in charge of a Viking tribe, and they're trapped in a time loop, which is a little bit of an inconvenience, and to get out they have to climb up to the top of Yggdrasil, or whatever it is, by exploring the Nine Realms of Norse mythology, but they're being chased by the endless void, and if it catches up with them then it's game over and we have to start again. There are different buildings to build, there are heroes to deploy, we deal with random events. It looks really interesting, so I thought we'd go and have a little play, and I think there is no time like the present. So here we go, let's jump right in and play some Roots of Yggdrasil. Okay, here we go, slightly ominous looking clouds. Ooh, okay! We have a magic flying viking longship, oh that's very exciting. People are pointing over there, I assume that's where we want to go. They don't look very happy, oh now they look happy, now they look happy, they've found where they want to go. Okay, so we are heading over here, I assume that's Yggdrasil, is that Yggdrasil? No, that's Vanaheim, learning steps, ah right okay, we might be in a bit of a tutorial situation here but that's okay. So that chappy there, is called Thrasir, Thracir possibly, and they're saying, man, it's a mess out here. We're nowhere near our destination, but we're already out of fuel. Okay, that's not great. And then Lif over here says, don't worry Thras, I'm picking up an energy signature in the soil here. There must be a sapling nearby. You look wonderful, Lif. You look very, very wonderful. Look at that. You got a little bit of a steampunk vibe going on there, which I do quite like. You've got these kind of gloves on. They've got a little kind of gadget type thing on them. You've got this big sort of gigantic monocle with little magnifying lenses. It looks a little bit steampunky and I am all on board with that. You look wonderful, Liv. Okay, so saplings are important things. We use saplings for energy, do we? And then Sunna, ah, Sunna's the big boss. Okay, Sunna says, seems like that's our only option for refueling then. Everyone spread out and look for the source. Okay, and then we have a villager, just a good old keen villager saying, I mom. Okie dokie, here we go. Right, moving around, yep, okay, we can do all the sort of movement stuff, it's all fine. Yep, look at us, look at us moving the camera around. We're so good at this and we can zoom in. Okay, there's our magic kind of flying longboat type thing. And there is a tree. Okay, we want to go and get that tree. It looks like it is over a bit of a chasm, but okay. And then Lyft says, aha, I knew it. Ragnarok might have torn the world tree to shreds, but its saplings are still full of power. Okay, so Ragnarok is the big sort of Viking end of world thing, isn't it? Like sort of Armageddon or whatever. And then Sunna says, no kidding. If we tap into the energy this one's roots generate, we'll be up and flying again in no time. And then Thrasir, or Thracir, says, sounds like a plan. I'll work on housing buildings for the scouts right away, chief. And he's got a big hammer type thing. So I assume you're the sort of engineer or builder or whatever. Okie doke. Right, currency, population. Right, so there's our population. That represents our settlement's growth. Build housing buildings to increase it. Every five population, you'll unlock a new building card. Ah, Right, okay, that seems like a good thing. That's what we want to do. And then we have currency supplies. Okay, supplies are spent to play cards. These are the backbone of your economy. Okay, so we've got, what does that mean? We've got 45 supplies and we gain 20 every turn. Okay, that seems pretty healthy. Okay, so placing buildings. Use cards to place buildings. Spend supplies to use your cards and then we can rotate the buildings around. Oh, I like this. So the objectives of this particular bit of our loop, because we're stuck in a time loop, is to build one, whatever that is, not quite sure what that thing is, but build something nearby, don't know what that is, and then learn about building a settlement. Okay, so do the tutorial, that's what that means. Okay, so we've got one car down here, sturdy housing. It's unlimited, so that'll always come back, but its cost increases for every use. Okay, so the more we actually, the more sturdy housing we put down, the more expensive it's going to be. So that is only going to cost three of our supplies. Okay, and it gives us one population. Okay, well, let's do that then. And if we took that, put that right in the corner, if I know, hang on. Do we put it near the water? Because what if we need some sort of water based thing? Let's put it, let's put it there. That'll do. Okay. So now our population is two over five, two out of five. Uh, okay, so now I'm gonna place another building. 
Oh, I see. Right, we have to just keep kind of building up and up and up, do we? So build another one, three out of five, and then do another one. But now these are costing seven. Okay, I see. So we can put that there, look. And then I imagine if we get this one in, which is now going to cost nine of our resources, uh, that's going to do something to that there, and we might get another card. Okay, so we will put that... Uh, let's put that round here, shall we? Let's zoom in a bit. It does look good. I do like how this game looks. So if we put that there, look, there we go. Got a little teeny tiny settlement going on. Each housing building we build increases our population, and the more population increases, the more objective rewards we'll be able to unlock. Right, says Thracer in his mighty hammer, and this objective will let us make barracks for our troops in order to reveal the island's different zones. Okay, so now we've got a new building. Okay, draft a new building, reach the goal of population, press top button, choose a new building. Okay, so click there, and it wants us to pick a barracks. So yeah, okay, we can gain might and expand our territory through exploration. Make a choice, but we've only got one. So yeah, we'll have a bit of that, thank you. Right, okay. So again, that's still not that icon there. So I still don't know what that little icon is. I'm not quite sure what that is that we have to build. Um something near to the magical tree sapling thingamajig. Okay, okay, that's fine. So now we've got some might. Okay, generate might and begin an exploration. Okay, I mean, let's get the barracks down because we're still in tutorial land and I kind of feel like we need to go and do all the things. So if we put the barracks, uh, yeah, over there, right near the edge, right near the edge, pop it just there, okie doke. So we now have, what have we got? 16 might. It looks like we explore with 10 might. Okay, so let's head over there then. Our scouts have been deployed to investigate that territory. I mean, there's nothing there. It's just the sky, isn't it? Or whatever it is. I don't know, a big drop, the void, I'm not quite sure. They've been deployed to investigate that territory. They'll be done with reconnaissance in one turn. Okay, to complete a turn, press the button at the bottom right of the screen. It also lets us connect, uh, collect our accumulated resources and income, so don't hesitate to use it. Okay, so yes, we're now going to pick up all of our bits and bobs up here. We're going to get 20 supplies back, because that's what we generate. Okay, yeah, so we'll do that. We get a new deck of cards, but of course, we've only got the two cards, so we've just got the same ones back, which is fine. And we've completed an exploration over here. Click to reveal new land. Oh! Oh, I see. So even there might be nothing there, it doesn't mean there's nothing there. It just means that we haven't discovered it. So it wasn't a great big drop. There is now some land over here. Okie doke. And then Thracer looks a little bit concerned. Hey, Chief, look over there. Seems like we're not the only survivors stuck here. A caravan, huh? Might be worth checking out. So Sunna, loops like this can grant rewards or resources that'll speed up our progress. Okay, so now I interact with the caravan. Okay, so go and have a chat. So these are the kind of random event things we have to deal with. Clusters of wooden carts have come to a standstill in Vanaheim's meadows. Many have broken wheels in need of repairs. Thracer is quick to lend his aid, earning the caravan's gratitude, because, yeah, he can sort of fix things. He's got a big hammer, and as we all know in games, all you need to repair things is a big hammer. As payment, the elders teach him how to construct long-forgotten industry buildings. Okay, so we can now build a logger's camp and an iron dig. Okay, hey, cool, they gave us industry building blueprints. I bet these will come in handy. I imagine they will. I imagine they're going to be very handy. Industry buildings exploit nearby resources to generate income each turn, like supplies and might. Just remember that a given resource can only be exploited by one building at a time. Okay, so we can't build multiple, say, logging camps around these trees, because only one can actually do anything with them. Okay, so now we need to get to 10 population, to draft an amenity building, and then it wants us to get a logger camp and an iron dig down. Okay, oh, that's, ah, the little icon for the amenity building is what we need to build near the magic tree. It, now I look at it like that, it looks like, it looks like a tankard. It looks like a sort of a, a like a pint glass. It looks like a little kind of drinking glass with drinks sticking out the top. Is that what that is? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we do have, 81 supplies. That's quite a lot. So I think let's just get let's get another house down. That's for 11 of our supplies. We'll just pop that there, look. 
So we're on six out of 10. Let's get another house. Ooh, that's a big house. That's a fancy house. Let's put that right there, look. They've got a lovely view into the nothingness. So seven out of 10. So we're nearly at that goal. But what do we get if we put these down? So plus two supplies per three, oh, per tree, maximum of three. Okay, so I think we use 10 of our supplies to get that down. Oh, look, it shows you which ones it connects to. Oh, that's quite good. Yeah, so if we put a logger camp just there, that's gonna then log those trees and bring resources in, which is very handy. And then the iron dig will do the same to that, I imagine. So yeah, plus five, five supplies repeating per rock that it's connected to. Okay, so if we put that there, that's now gonna bring in some supplies because they're gonna provide stone. Okay, this is going very well. We might need another barracks. We might need another one of those because our might is only six right now and that's not very much. So I think possibly another 10 of our supplies can go in here. Uh, oh, or maybe, oh, it's got to be, ah, it's got to be near the buildings. Oh, I see, I didn't realize that. Ah, so we might wanna start building houses in that direction. Okay, right, I didn't realize that. Let's do that then, shall we? Uh, no, not a barracks, housing. So let's build a house here for 15. And then I think we can build one more house for 17. And now we need to end our turn because we can't do anything else. So do that, we end our turn, we get the same things back, We've picked up some nice amounts of supplies, which is good. And I think, yeah, we can get, hang on, yeah, get another house in. So pop that in. Let's put it sort of backing onto that one like that. And now I think we can build another barracks. Oh, okay. We can now draft another card. Okay, and it's a shrub. Amenity buildings like the shrub usually pair well with housing buildings to generate supplies. Okay, so a shrub like a little berry bush type thing. Five supplies to get down. It's got to be near to three houses and it generates one repeating supplies for each turn per, oh no, plus three. Oh, it just generates supplies on its own and then plus three per house. Ah, okay. That's what we've collected enough cards to build a full deck. From now on, whenever we complete a turn, we'll discard the cards in our hand and draw three new cards from our draw pile dot 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 and when our draw pile is empty we shuffle our discard pile back into our draw pile in short the bigger our deck the more options will be at our disposal yeah okay that's kind of how card games work we're fine but we need more turns for cards to return to our draw pile keep that in mind okie dokie so now i think get a barracks in and we can now put that in because it's near to those houses so drop that in 17 might we can now go exploring over here and then i think we end our turn uh we can't do much else here yeah, end our turn that's fine uh let's put the shrub back in shall we so that shrub is going to generate quite a lot of a lot of resource for us it's going to generate one per just turn but then also yeah it's going to generate three immediately right now per house it's next to so if we put that there that's got us up to 45 supplies that's very good uh, okay what do we find over here Aha, right, finally we can reach the sapling. Uh, but now what? I, I don't look at me, I don't know. <laughs> Go up and, I don't know, poke at it, say hello. I don't know. I was hoping you might know the answer. First, it needs to bloom. Ah, okay, Liv knows the answer. Thank you, Liv. Saplings all have unique conditions. They need to be met in order to flourish and generate eater, whatever that is. I don't know, like magic, I assume. This one requires an amenity building within its aura, for instance. Okay. That's what the magic tree needs to bloom. Okay, so we can't do it right now, but that's okay. Maybe let's spend 21 of our points on getting a, another house in. We'll put another house over here, maybe. That's quite nice. You know, spreading out a little bit. That's fun. And we might need some more supplies. There's plenty of trees around here. There's loads of trees, in fact. Let's put a logger camp in, just because that's quite fun. So that's more resources. Uh, we need, I think, the little shrub thing. So let's do that and get a new, new sort of hand of cards. So can we put that there? No, it's got to be near to some housing. 
Okay, so now, can we build over here then? Can we start building houses over here? Yes. Ah, but the housing is now getting very expensive. So possibly what we do is get some more of these in for now. So get another, we got the, ah, we haven't got the mining thing in. Get another logger camp in. So put that in, say, uh, ah, no, down here, look. Pop that in like that. So that can work on those three. We'll put the shrub over there because that generates a nice supply of supplies as well. And then we can get one bit of housing in over there. And then I think we end our turn. Stock back upon supplies. Uh, right, the iron dig, that can go just there. That can start mining that, which is handy. Uh, and then we'll get another house for 25 of our supplies. Okay, and now possibly get another logger camp in because that could be handy. Put that there, so more resources coming in next turn. End our turn for now. And then I think we've got 27 to put that down. And I think now we can put the shrub down because it's got three nearby housing. And if we put the shrub there, that is an amenity building and that should allow the sapling to bloom and it'll all be wonderful. So uh, yeah, okay, let's put that down. There we go, refueling complete. Good job, everyone. And the tree's gone all lovely, that's quite nice. And according to these charts, Liv says, Ragnarok's Lost Sanctuary should only be an aisle or two away. We're almost there. No time to waste then. Let's board the ship. Oh, the ship has a special kind of thing with the picture before any dark fog gets here. I mum. Okay, villager doesn't get many lines, but he delivers them with gusto. I like that villager. <laughs> well done. You're, you've got one job and you're doing it very well. Wonderful. Right. I think now, ah, board the ship. Okay, so we now leave all that behind. We've kind of done all that. We leave it behind and we clear off, do we? So yeah, we picked up a seed. So we have to get a seed to then carry on the loop and then yeah, fly away. Resources that will be spent, spent to when confirming. Resources that will be spent to when confirming. I don't know what that means, but okay. The following currents are simply a goal and thus won't be spent. Population, seedlings, any completed adventure and exploration. Okay, I assume that we're not, does that mean we're not taking them with us? I, we'll find out as we go. Right. Okay, so we fly away in our magic longship, which is wonderful. And now we choose our path. Traveling on the travel screen uses spare time. Press on no to start traveling. Hover over each node for more information. Um, okay, so where are we? Are we there? Have we learned about this? Oh no, we're still going that way. Okay, I mean, there's an artifact there. Choose an artifact to acquire. You'll get its effects the rest of the loop. Let's go and pick up a magical artifact, because that seems like the only place to go. Choose an artifact to acquire. You'll gain its effects for the rest of the loop. We're going to have the Maker's Hammer. Okay, let's hope it's better than Chappie's Hammer. Gain 10 might when three buildings are created in one turn. Oh yeah, we do that quite often anyway. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, we'll have a magic hammer. Thank you very much. That's good. And then go back over here. And I think it's another little tutorial thing. But again, that's okay. Damn, getting it up more fuel than I thought. We need twice as many saplings to reach the next island. Don't worry, Sonna. I'm detecting multiple signals in our vicinity. Let's start by blooming that one over there. And I think now we're being given, you know, relative sort of freedom to go and do what we want to do. There's one over there. So gain one seed when... What's that? I don't know. What, what's the swirly thing? That must be a type of builder that we haven't unlocked yet, but okay. Um, and the other tree. Oh, no, hang on. No, it's that one there, not that one there. Ah, right, okay. So we need to explore over here with some scouty people. And then we need to build three houses near to that. And then we'll pick up a magic seed thing. But okay, I think, though, it did say that we're going to learn about the dark fog or whatever on this level. I mean, it looks very pretty. If we just go and look around, I do like it. It's sort of like gigantic, big, sort of, I don't know what they are, like big, I don't know, branches or like, we're like the top of the beanstalk because they're a giant up here somewhere. So I think, what have we got? 45 supplies. And we start again, look, we're right back down to square one. So we'll put a house down. We'll get a house maybe there. Uh, let's get an iron dig in because that's a nice, easy source of resources going on. Nice and straightforward. And... 
Uh, we'll get another house. House, please. Thank you. Pop a house in like that. And another house. Uh, rotate it round. Tuck that in like that. I wonder why some houses are bigger than the others. I'm not quite sure. Um, and then if we get a shrub and put that there... That's five, and then we've got ten. Oh, no, the show generated more room, and then we've got some for the barracks. So put the barracks over here. That gives us 36 might, and I think our magic hammer would have given us some might anyway, which is useful. I think we'll get some final bit of housing in, because then we can get ourselves a new card. Oh, okay. Oh, and it's now letting us just pick. We're not being tutorialed as much anymore. Okay, this is very exciting. So... Repurposer. Retain exhaust. Discard your hand and draw the same amount of cards. Okay. That does have a twirly thing on it. And that other tree needs a twirly thing. Training ground. Plus one might per person. Okay. That could be useful. Or armory. Plus ten might per nearby utility thing. Uh, I mean, that might be better. The training ground might be more usable. We'll take a training ground. Thank you very much. Okay, right. That's good. And now I think we will go on a bit of a journey over there. Use some of our might. Okie dokie. All right, go to our next turn. Uh, we've got a thing over here. Why have we got... Ah, no, it's that there, isn't it? So do some exploring over here. Right. We've uncovered a new bit of the world. Oh, great. Rain, my favourite, and his favourite is Wiggly, it's a Wiggly favourite. Mum, rain clowns are a type of threat that will prevent us from building structures on affected areas. This could be a big problem. Oh, look at that, Villager's got some different lines. Oh, well done, well done you, you've earned it, you've earned it, Villager. You deliver the other lines so well, this is wonderful. Okay, so rain is bad, that's a threat. Hmm, I think I know a way to deal with this. Let's start by building an observatory. Okay, I can observe that it's raining. Uh, okay, we'll have that then. So it's a special building that allows us to draft action cards. Oh, okay. And action cards are used to perform special abilities that will help us reach our goal. Okay, so we'll grab one of those. So I assume we build it now. Does it want us to build now? Oh, the rain is, is literally right in front of us. Okay, yeah, that is a bit of a problem, isn't it? Um, yeah, we can't build on hexes. Uh, right, get an observatory in. I don't know if we have to put it anywhere particular. I'm not quite sure. We'll put it, uh, I don't know, there for now. There, this observatory will generate eater. Ah, okay, twirly stuff. Magic twirly stuff, eater every turn. And we use it as a resource for our fate bending abilities. Oh, Okay, that sounds good. Leave that part to me, Chief. I'm going to smite those rain clouds to smithereens. That's not how that works, but okay. Right, so now we have this kind of magic resource. Okay, I don't know how you say it. Aether, Eater, Eitir. I don't know. We're going to call it magic. That one there. So that's used to bend fate. Draft new action cards in the observatory. Some cards will require Eater to use. Okie dokie. So let's go and draft one of those right now because that's one of our objectives so go and do that and we can smite okay so uh, yeah we'll have that please we'll take smite and then i assume it costs no more yeah no more to use it's brittle so it's permanently removed from the deck on use and stays in hand at the end of the turn maybe oh i see if we don't use it it stays in our hand but when we do use it it's gone forever Okay, right, I see. So if we go and smite the rain, let me just go and smite some rain. Boom! There we go. We just did exciting magic -y stuff. What's that telling us? Timeline day. The, the what? The Ginunga Gap. Ginunga Gap. Okay, there's a thing called the Ginunga Gap. <laughs> What's the Ginunga Gap? Uh, it grows ever closer. Time moves every day. You end a turn. If you leave during the day, you'll gain 15 spare time. Oh, I see. I see. Right. Okay. So I assume that's the kind of oblivion or whatever that's chasing us. So right now, because we're in happy tutorial land, we don't need to worry. But yes, yeah, so if we leave in the day, we get 15 spare time. If we leave in dusk, we get 12 spare time, and I imagine 
there, there we go, running out of time. Every subsequent turn spent on the island after this will make things worse. Just ge generically worse. Okay, destroy the threat and bloom the sapling. Right, so now we need to build three houses around here. This should not be an issue at all. So put one just there. We will put one over there. And we're now out for now, but never mind. We could put a shrub down. We could put a shrub, but it's too near the other one. It's too near the other one. Um, and that's not near enough housing. No. Okay, right. We'll save We'll save the supplies. We'll save them. So go to the next turn. Moved on a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, and yeah, we can do another house over there. Let's rotate it round a bit. We'll put it like that. And now that's bloomed. Yay. There you go. So um, yeah, do we get that? The energy of this eater resource can be used to power another building. Not exploited. Okay. So we are gathering that stuff. What do we do with it? Do we need a special building to kind of, I don't know, sort of uh, soak up the soak up the energy from the tree thing? I'm not quite sure. However, we do have enough might to go and explore over here. So we should then be able to get access to the other tree over there. So, okay, go and have a look around there, please. And then, yeah, might is looking a little bit low. I don't know if we need any more, though. So let's maybe put down or try to get up to 10 population and get us some more cards. That could be handy. Maybe we will start building over here just in case we need to put some housing over here or whatever. So we'll pop a thing over there and I don't think we can do too much else right now. So go to the next turn. Uh, the exploration has completed. Okie doke. There we go. Uncover the final bit. Interesting. It seems this last sapling will need to be powered up by an eater source to bloom. I see one over there on the right. Ah, okay, thing over there. All we need to do is set up some Aether. I wish I knew how to pronounce that. Aether, Aether. Some Aether connector pylons to put a relay between the Aether source and the sapling. Okay, so right, power the tree up with magic pylons. Okay, yep, we can even use bloom saplings as an alternate power source in a pinch. Ah, there's one down there. So leave it to you, Sunna. Okay, so pick up. A magic connector thingamajig. Okie dokie. Uh, I think really... Uh, let I want to get that in. Just because it might give us an exciting new card. So yeah, we'll go there. We'll pick that. Uh, Rune Henge. Oh yes. We can have a henge. Oh, and it gives us magic points. It gives us ether. So um, yeah, let's go for that. You can re-roll these, which is interesting. But yeah, we've only got three left. No, these are fine. I like that. I want to build a henge. I like the sound of uh, building a nice henge. Okay, use to connect an eater source to other buildings. So that thing there, whatever that is, like a magic rock, a magic rock with floaty bits on top of it, that now needs to be exploited. But also we could use that tree. Uh, I mean, I feel like we should probably use this thing. Let's use this thing. We'll put that just there, look. Okay, so the connector is in. Uh, oh, is this just free to do each time? We can just build a chain of these and we just get it back. Ah, it gives us, ah, there's multiples of these. Okay, so we can build a chain of them. So now I've got three left. So do that and there we go. We've plugged in the tree to the magic and it's all fine. Nice going, Chief. We're officially cleared for takeoff. Good. That lost sanctuary can't be far now. Everyone hang in there just a little longer. Okay, so we go back into here, board the ship. We've got two seed things. We take off. We're in the day, so we should have plenty of spare time to go wandering out here. Okay, so that's where we are. Back to the halt. Okay, and I think on the Steam Store page, it said the halt is a sort of your base, if you like. So we can sort of develop that a little bit. All the materials he needs to build his workshop. It's time to go back. Okay, so we're going back to our sort of little base. Wait a minute, Sunna, this is the place. We made it! Okay, Liff is very excited. We've made it to a place. Hooray, the halt. Okay, right, so it's all safe here. I think this is effectively home. I think this is where we live. And then this is the only bit of our time loop that doesn't get reset, I think. So, we're okay, the halt objectives are currently to rebuild the greenhouse. Okay, so how do we do that? Looks like these ruins still have sturdy foundations and we have plenty of matter to build stuff. 
Time for me to work my magic. Okay, so we pick up matter, which is these kind of boxes of stuff, I assume. Nurture the roots of Ugdrasil. Okay, I assume Ugdrasil is the big tree, and it's got roots. Because, you know, trees have roots and everything, so okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, we're going to spend 25 of our 50 resources on repairing a greenhouse. Okay. And there we go. Oh, it looks wonderful. Oh, it's got a little tiny tree in it. It's got a little tree in it. Okay. Ta-da! What do you think, Liff? Uh, well, the dome is sloppy, and you have no taste when it comes to decorating. Oh, I, I understand. I understand, Liff. You, you've got the right to look and impress. There's no wallpaper in there. There's not multicolored flooring. It looks very bland, but okay, I can make this work, she says. Sloppy? Do you have any idea how hard it was to make curved glass in these conditions? Easy thrass, says Senna. You know, we can't cut corners on a greenhouse. Without it, we have no food and no fuel, or worse. Exactly. Good botanists are essential for surviving world's end, and I'm the best botanist there is. Just watch. Okay, now we're in a greenhouse. So, collect acorns while playing. Press and hold to purchase an upgrade. Hover an upgrade node for more information. Okay, so is that an upgrade we've got? Have we got an acorn? Oh yeah, down there, look, we have an acorn. A golden acorn. Oh, very fancy indeed. Used in the greenhouse to unlock permanent upgrades. Okay, so we can click that. And that's going to give us fertile soil, allows for the tree to grow and its roots to expand. Okay, so hold to purchase, because we have to do that, because, you know, we're in happy tutorial friendly land at the minute. See, just like that, we're swimming in air tur. Now we need our acorns from Yggdrasil's branches to expand the roots. What we really need is a workshop. I can't build a whole settlement without one, but we need a lot more matter for that. No choice then. We'll have to set off on a loop and retrieve more supplies from the nearest island. Liff, you stay here and make sure the greenhouse is operating at full capacity. We'll definitely need to refuel once we're back. All right, but you two better be careful, okay? Don't you worry, says Thrissir. Nothing will happen to the chief with me around. Now let's board the ship and set sail. Hi, chief. Ah, back to his simple lines again. Okie dokie. Now, free to explore the nine realms, use a ship to go on loops, gather resources to upgrade the hull, uncover the truth about Ragnarok. Okay, make a choice. Onwards. Okay. So, set out for a loop. Unlock two kinships with Thrasir. Okay, what does that do? Visit the greenhouse, start an expedition. Uh, okay, so what have we got down here then? So, the workshop is over here. That's what Thrasir or Thracia wants to repair, uh, but we need 40 matter, and I don't know how much matter we have right now, um, but I assume we can't do that. Uh, man, if only we had more matter. Ah, we've now got, is it 25? Have we got 25 and we need 40, was it? Oh, okay. I, I'm sure, yeah, we haven't got enough. Okay, so that's going to be our next big thing. Um, we're building all settlements. Okay, yeah, so we need more stuff. That's what we want. So we're going to get more matter to go and repair that thing. And then we can go and do lots of other stuff. Okay, I don't know how we build the kinships. How do we go about doing that? I don't know how we do that, but okay, that could be fun. Oh, there are many things up here. Oh, we get to see all of our different kind of cards. Ah, building cards, action cards, got various artifacts and things. The Ageless Apple. Okay, that's exciting. There's our one artifact that we do have. And we've got our kind of hero character. So we've seen three of them. It looks like there's a good number more. Uh, okay, right. I think then, uh, visit the greenhouse is what we've seen already, but we haven't got any more kind of acorn things. So we can't do anything about these. So let's go on an expedition. Let's nip out, shall we? Um, okay, prepare your next loop. So... Three, what do we what are we clicking here? Thracia can create additional housing buildings. Sturdy housing, gain population when placed. Are we are we taking these? Scion selection. Okay, so take Thracia. Uh okay, so click that. Is this is that just who is coming along? Do I have to click things? Uh, do we drag and drop things? I'm not quite sure. And sturdy housing is our card. That's the card that we play. Uh, I assume, I assume that's, that's sort of given and we can't change it. Let's depart on new loop and we'll see what happens. Oh, there we go. Farewell. Oh, what was that? <gasps> oh, oh, okay. That was a little bit ominous, wasn't it? Okay. Uh, right. We have 
eight spare time. There's the halt. There's a thing in the middle. The Norns. Another foretold meeting. And then we can nip over to the Northern Forest. Or, oh, just a, a couple of Northern Forest. Times. Let's go and see this Norn thing. What's that about? Oh, some mysterious clouds have appeared. Oh, hello, Norns. I don't know what a Norn is. But they've got horns coming out of their heads in varying kind of shapes and styles. So the Norns say, she is here, sisters. And she has been here before. So she shall be, again, until the end of time. Okay, so this is telling us that we're now stuck in the kind of loopy, roguelike bit of the game. Who the... Who are you people? What do you want from us, says Sunna? We are the mothers of Ragnarok, of its horrors and its victims. We are the authors of its prophesied end and its endlessly repeating cycle. We are all that is, ever was, and will be. Okay, so one is past, one is present, one is future, I assume. That one there is a little bit scary. You may call us Norns, weavers of all fates, and your fate is of great interest. Allow us to steer its course. Oh, we get a lovely thing. Oh, a magic spade. That sounds amazing. Spade of vigor. For each two population, we gain one supply. Just repeating at the end of every turn. That's quite handy. Sort of rebirth. Each time a card with the exhaust keyword is played, draw a card. Okay, that's not quite as handy. That's not quite as useful. We don't have that many exhaust things. Not now, anyway, but we might do in the future. Vial of Siphoning Haze. Reduce the Scion power cooldown by one turn each time a card is discarded. Ah, okay. So the Scions, the sort of hero characters, have a power they can use that has a cooldown. Um, okay, uh, that one is very tempting, but we can do other things to get supplies. That could be quite handy, although I just kind of scoffed at that, but maybe if we do start picking up cards that get exhausted, like the thing that took out the storm last time, we'd get a free card with that. That could be quite useful. So maybe we do go for the Soot of Rebirth. Let's have that. Yeah, there you go. Got some magic soot going on. Uh, and they've got six time left. So we can take four to go there, or four to go there. Source of golden acorns, source of golden acorns. They're both exactly the same. They've got the same little picture and the same little kind of butterflies. Uh, I don't know that one. There we go. Randomly chosen one on the left, because why not? Okay, Vanaheim, Verdant Lands. So what have we got to do? There's the magic tree. So the tree is over there. Oh, hang on. There's There are three magic trees. Oh, there are so many magic trees. This is wonderful. Uh, and we've got a, an Erter source there. Got an iron deposit there. That tree needs... What does that need? That needs a military building nearby. That one needs five... Complete five flag things. What does the five flag thing mean? I don't know what that means. That's a bit strange. Um, however, the observatory is free. We can just get that in. That's just a nice sort of free thing given to us. So if we pop that, uh, I don't know, there, that'll do. The observatory goes in and maybe we don't need a magic thing now, though. We don't need anything now. So I think I have got much in the way of trees. Um, we could get that. Oh, we can't get the barracks in because we need some housing first. Let's get some housing in. So pop a house maybe there and get another house. Can we sort of jigsaw that in over here, maybe? Oh, yeah, we can. Wonderful. And then get another house. Pop that in like that. And then we can probably get a barracks in. And that will get us 16 might. Okay, wonderful. Uh, and then I think, yeah, we'll go over there. Oh, hang on. Do we want to explore there or here? That requires... What's that just there? Like a storage building of some kind? I don't know what that one is. Um, or we could go that way. Let's go over here. Look, we'll explore just there, please. Right. So we're now exploring over here. Ah, hang on. There's day. There's dusk. There's night. Ah, right. Okay. Bad things are going to happen at night time. Okay. Message understood. Got 29 supplies left. Got lots of logger camps but not enough trees. There is one little tree just there, which, I mean, do you know what? We might as well make the make use of it. 
Let's see if we can just get that in over there somewhere. Look, hang on, can it fit there? There you go. So we might as well at least get something from it. That can generate a tiny bit of supply each turn. And then we'll get another card when we put another house in. So we'll have that. Iron mine, blacksmith, or treaded crane. Draw two cards. So that could be quite useful. But then if we can't sort of deploy them, then it's wasted. Blacksmith, exhaust, but gives us 20 resources. Um... Remove from the deck on use, return to the deck upon leaving the island. Okay, so it just gives us 20 supplies straight off, I think, does it? Is that what that does? I think it does. Or an iron minus five resources per rock maximum of three. Um, do you not already have that? We've already got iron mines, haven't we? That's just another one to go into the deck, is it? Because there's quite a few stones. Are there quite a few stones around? There's, there's one. There's one stone. Okay, no, there's not that many stones around either. Um, okay. Do we re-roll those and just see what other things we get? Let's do that. Why not? Eh? There we go. Ooh, hero statue. That could be quite exciting. Plus five. Ooh, does it take eight of our magic points to do? But we get five military points out of it. And it's one of those things. It's, it's a box thing. Yeah, we'll take that because then it can go over here. We can build it over there. Aha, right, yeah, that's going to be quite handy. Uh, and I think if we, say, just put a shrub down just there, uh, can we do another house and then put the shrub down? That might be quite good. Can we do that? Yeah, pop that in like that. Then get the shrub in so it's near to lots of things. So, yeah, come on, shrub, place. There we go. So, boop that in. And we're on 27 supplies. Let's get one more house in. Just drop that in like that. And then I think we will end our turn for now. What does that do? Stargazing results. Oh, yeah. Do you want to go and grab a card? But it might be no. You, we can't keep some of the cards. It might get wasted. We'll wait until next turn. So we'll go to next turn. We are moving along here a little bit dangerously. But okay, we're fine for now. We're fine for now. It's all good at the minute. Uh, right. So now we've got the hero statue thing, which we do want to build over here. But it's got to be near... Ah. We need a magical pylon thingamajig. Okay, and they haven't finished exploring over here yet. So I think Iron Dig. Uh, yeah, we'll get that in. Ah, hang on. Get that in over here because that can provide some iron. That's very handy. And then it might be a case of just building some more housing. Just getting more houses in just to try and get some more cards in our hand that would be quite useful. The only thing is I don't want to block things off over here. I don't want to kind of block off access to the magic pylons or whatever they are. Um, okay, that could took over there, look. And then we get another card. Blacksmith, Iron Mine or Lumberyard. Um, okay, oh, the Iron Mine is a bit better than the Iron Dig. That connects to three stones. Ah, right, okay, I see. We could... We could go for the blacksmith. Uh, we have to spend... Is that what that means? It costs 20, 20 supplies to get in. But then it generates 20 supplies every single turn. So really, we want to get that in sooner rather than later. Let's get a blacksmith for fun. We'll see what that does. Hero statue we can't do quite yet. So um, yeah, okay. Go to the next turn. We Ah, here we go. Some connector things. So let's open this up first. Okie dokie. Ah, another magic tree. Oh, oh, that one's all blocked off. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I was kind of hoping to build from here all the way down to there. Um, that does need magic from that thing. So now we need a barracks to get 20 might to go and look around there. Okay, can we do that? Plus two per, per thing. Ah, right, okay. So what we need, we need some more housing going on. So if we get another house here, and then we're out of supplies. Botherations. Okay, oh, and that's going to vanish. That's going to vanish because that's in our hand. I want to keep that. I want to keep that, please. Let's have a look at the... Um, let's use the observatory. We are slowly acquiring the magic stuff. So let's have a look at that. Um, make a choice. We can ready your scion power 
Oh yeah, we haven't looked at that. Um, gain all incomes that would incur at the end of the turn. Oh, that could be quite handy. Or create three random resources in a radius. Oh, that could also be quite fun. Um, what's the Scion power? Uh, ah, I think it's building up. I think his power is kind of accumulating. I don't see a way to deploy it right now. No, I think it's still building up. So maybe at some point he can use a power to help us out. I'm not quite sure. I don't really know. Um, oh, I know there it is. All burners cost 50% less for the first five turns. Oh, oh, things are much cheaper right now. Ah, right, okay. So I wonder if we go to here, is it worth just creating three random resources in a radius and then just yeah, building next to them and just, you know, going from there? That'd be quite good. Although, if we do that, we are going to gain 16 supplies and another three of our magic there. So effective, yeah, it's like a free sort of resource turn. So that might give us some more supplies to go and build some more housing. Possibly could be useful. Let's do that, shall we? We'll do that, and right, there we go. And effective, that was cheaper. That was seven rather than ten, which is handy. So now we could, in theory, build the blacksmith. We could put the blacksmith in because, look at that, it's just close enough to those two other buildings. Just. If we can just fit it where... It, oh, hang on a minute. It, it went in, so there we go. So the card will vanish. That's okay. And we got a magic thing for vanishing cards. Did we not have a thing for that? Did we not pick something about that? Was that not what we said? That thing. Hang on. Uh, each time a card with exhaust is played, draw a card. Ah! So we're going to play the blacksmith. That's going to give her... That's going to vanish. It's going to be exhausted. But it is then going to generate 20 resources every turn. Is that? That's very good. Uh, and because we have our magic soot, whatever it is, we're going to get another card from that. Yeah. Okay. This seems like a pretty good thing to do. Uh, the blacksmith is now a slightly different... Oh, no, there we go. So put that in. That goes away. 36 resources per turn. And we got an iron dig. So we could... We could put that down. Or we could get some more housing in. Another barracks would be... Uh, yeah, that leaves us with five left. We could put an iron dig down. Can we try and get any more out of this? Five, ah, there we go. That's 15 military power. That's not enough to go over here, though. So let's not do that just yet. We will put in another iron dig. No, we won't because we haven't got any iron to go and dig. We've dug all the iron. Okay, we'll put a house in there. That's fine. We'll put a house over here, look. So boop, a house in. Right, there we go. So I think now we're looking low on resources. So we'll skip to the next turn and then see what we can do. Okay, we have a logger camp, which I think could be quite good because there are three trees over there ready to be harvested away. So there we go. You go and work on those trees. And because the more supplies we have, the more cards we can put down, which is very handy. So I think then have another house. We've got barracks for eight. So if we put... Ah, okay. That's not going to work. This is a little bit of a bother, isn't it? So that's going to give us 15... 15 points for the barracks. No, again, we need some more housing. We need more housing around the barracks, I think. So, uh, yeah, we'll have one of those. And then again, we're sort of stuck. So, yep, go to the end of the turn. A little bit concerned about this, but okay. Um, no point with the iron digs because there's no more sort of stones. Uh, logger camp. Don't think we have any trees that we can go and do. So, back we go to the housing. So, that's 14. But now we haven't got the barracks card. We can choose another card, though, which is nice. We could get another blacksmith. We could get another blacksmith. That would be very helpful, but I don't think we've got the... Um, we've not got the two resources. Let's go for the training ground. Plus one might per person. Yeah, let's do that. Yes, please, absolutely. Can we have one of those? And then we'll just use the final things on building more housing. Can we try and fit another house in at that angle? Yes, like that. Perfect. And then tuck one in really close just there. And then go to the next turn and hope that we get a barracks. Uh, builder's boon. Okay, build a housing building for free. Okay, right, this is good. So yeah, we'll have that. We'll have a free building because why wouldn't we want that? So we'll tuck a free building in just there. That's very handy. 
Uh, the training ground. Okay. So is that better than the barracks? I'm not entirely sure it is. I don't know. Can we put it over here? That I guess 18. That would also... Oh, no. It's not radius. That's just... We've got a population of 18. Ah, right. Okay. No, that's good. Uh, what have we got? 44. I don't think we could build another house and then get that in. Which is a bit of a shame. So let's get the training ground in wherever. It can go over here, look. Just as long as it's next to two other houses. It's near enough. So put the training ground over there. We've now got 19 might. We need one more to go over here and look around. Uh, and we will have... Um, yeah, we'll put a shrub down. Let's get a shrub in. Can we put it there? Ooh, that could be quite good, actually. That's a huge pile of resources. Okay, that's really handy. And then just build another house. Let's get another house down here, possibly somewhere uh, like that. There we go. And the barracks can go in the middle when we eventually get one. Crikey's. Okay, is it worth looking at what we can have from here? Recycle. Destroy a building. Create an eater source. Ooh, that could be useful. That could be handy, couldn't it? Make one of the magic floaty rock things or quicken ongoing exploration progress uh, by one turn. Oh, that hurries up the exploration process. Do we keep these? Do we keep those? Permanently removed from the deck at the end of the island. Um, oh, that goes away forever when we leave the island. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, that one is just removed from the deck on use. And that one is, yeah, from the deck on use. Uh, I mean, that would be handy. But, oh yeah, with time running out as well. Uh, maybe we don't do that right now. I think go to the end of the turn. We need the barracks. Yay, right, the barracks has got to go in. 27 might coming out of that. Brilliant. Okay, go and explore over there, please. And then hopefully we can charge that one up. And then in the meantime, can we also explore over here? Because we now do have quite a lot of might going on. Right, that's going to be really helpful. We can get that tree if we want to by putting a military building over here. Which, I don't know why we didn't do that before, but let's put that in. So, boom. That tree now gets all very exciting. Look, it's all lovely and lit, which is wonderful. Um, yeah, I kind of had hoped to get over there, but we can't get over there, which is a bit of a shame. And then another shrub. Could we get another shrub in? Uh, and we could put it in the middle, possibly. That'd be okay. That's 27 resources just right now. Boom, there we go. We've got a big pile of resources that we can spend things on next time. Although, we are only one population away from another exciting card. Let's go down that route, shall we? Pop that there, and then we get another card. Lumbiard Training Ground or Rune Henge. I want a Rune Henge, please. I want to build our very own henge. I want I want the Penge Henge, please. Uh, right, end our turn. And we've got the Hero Statue again. Um, they haven't continued their exploration. I thought they would have finished. Oh, no, hang on. No, it's two turns. Ah, botherations. Okay, no. Yeah, it's two turns. Of course it is. Um, okay, we can get Rune Henge in. Okay, this is very good. Right, so we want to put this near to lots of... That's 21. Can we put it in the middle there? 39 magic points or whatever they are. Yeah, we will have that, please. We've got our own rune henge. And now I think we can go here and we can just buy a thing. Let's just buy a thing, shall we? Uh, oh, yeah, that. Quicken. Yes. Do that now. And all the exploration is now completed. Okie doke. Reveal what's over here. A little caravan. Okay, reveal what's over there. Ah, okay. I was kind of hoping to go that way over there, but okay. Complete five. Oh, that's five explorations. Ah, okay. So we've done one, two, three, four. Complete one more exploration, and that tree will be ours. And then we'll get a seed, and then we'll be absolutely fine. Okay, okay, right. I see where this is going. We now need the magic connecty things. But we haven't got them anymore, which is, again, a bit of a nuisance, but never mind. Uh, what do you want, Caravan? We're greeted by an elderly battle-scarred swordswoman and the, and the clash of sparring weapons. She leads the remnants of the Viking army, all of whom lost their homeland to Ragnarok's chaos. Though they stood together and survived ever since, they seek a new cause worthy of a true warrior's death. 
these Vikings could make formidable additions to your forces, either as brave soldiers or mentors for the next generation. Okay, so we can get them onto the front line and get 30 might immediately, or we can get them to train our troops. We gain two swan feathers, which means we gain two might every turn. So effectively four might every turn. And, oh, that's kind of it. That's what we get. So they become swan feathers. They turn into feathers. Um, I mean, I'd like to think we're going to be out of here relatively quickly. So immediately, let's get you onto the front lines. That gets us 30 might, which is very handy. And then, can we go over here and explore just there, please? So a couple of turns until that's done. And then maybe we keep that might. I don't really want to go over here because I don't know what's down there. And I think we're okay at the minute. We're all right for things. So, um, I mean, are we going to get over here? To reveal that, do we, do we deploy the hero statue? Uh, I mean, it's plus five. It's plus five might. We could do it. Why not just get it down? It'll come back into our hand anyway. Um, it's got to be near to a... Oh. Ah. Okay. Can it can it fit in the gap over here? Can it fit... A, ah. Bother. Okay. Hang on a minute. It, there's got to be room around here somewhere. There's got to be a gap around here. Because, of course, we would have planned this and we would have left a gap. Nobody would have just not left a gap for this thing. Of course they wouldn't. Who would have been silly enough not to leave a gap? There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. So we're on 36 might now and we're gaining five every single turn. That's really good. Uh, okay. So go to the next. Or do we go for there? Do that. And then that. We're getting five every turn. So we're going to go exploring over here as well. Spend some exploration points. Let's go look around and see things. And there is another adventure over here in a cave. Okay, what's in the cave? The dark entrance in the cliff is calling you. What treasure lies deep within? Our person will be unavailable for six turns. That's fine. That's fine. I'm hoping we'll be out of here in six turns, but hopefully they're not going to get stranded or whatever. But yeah, okay, you go and look around in there, please. I'd like to think that we'd be out of here in six turns, but go and have a nosy. And what can we get for our magic? Can we get anything exciting? Uh, gain all the income, destroy a thing, uh, ready your scion power. Well, that's a little bit late, isn't it? Um, I mean, maybe that. Pick up all our resources again. That might be quite handy. That's going to get some more might and a load of resources. Yeah, okay, we'll do that, look. Just boom, just do that, please. Just top us up. Thank you very much. Right. On to the next, unless... Oh, no, hang on. We can iron dig that thing. We'll pop that in over there. There we go. That's just some more resources coming in. Very handy. I think that's all we can do for that turn. So we'll nip on to the next turn. And now we've got a load of supplies. That's really good. That's very handy. Maybe the training ground could go in somewhere. Could we fit a training ground in for another load of military might? That's going to be quite useful. So up to 41 might. We can't do much else right now. I need the pylon things. I want to plug that in with a magic pylon thingamajig. But those cards haven't come up, so they must still be in the draw pile, I assume. So, um, yeah, okay. So go to next turn already. Um, we are going to start going toward dusk. Now, I'm intrigued what happens when we get to dusk, because does the map change? Does it get a little bit darker? I assume it would. Uh, let's go over here. We shall uncover that. Okay. Ah, there's another adventure thing, another caravan. You approach the convoy only to find most of its vehicles damaged or destroyed by raiders. A lone grizzled carpenter is tirelessly toiling to fix them, but his old bones may well give out before the job is done. You offer a helping hand, saving the convoy precious time. It is, if not the carpenter's life. As thanks for your generosity, he shares the experience he amassed over countless years. Okay, we could upgrade a building, or we could gain a blueprint. Oh, you use at the workshop to unlock new halt buildings. Oh, yeah, we'll have that, please. We'll take an upgrade for the halt. I kind of like base of operations. Right. So we have some ruins over there, which will activate if we build a military building next to them. And then that will activate if we build a sort of warehouse type building next to them, possibly. That's a barracks we probably don't need. We can't do magic stuff. We can't get out of here because we haven't got enough seeds. That is near... Oh, hang on. If we do that down here, that might complete that tree's magic power thing. And I think it did. Okay, so that tree 
is now ready. Oh, no valid path. Oh, oh, we have to come round this way. Oh, botherations. Okay, right. Open that up then. Oh, there's a swirly thing. Ah, hang on. That's the, the Gingen Gap or the Ginnen Gap. Oh no, the Ginnen Gap is on the way. Oh, and there's a, a Dregger encampment. Oh, they're from Skyrim. Um, Okay, there's a Wanderer. Oh, that's quite fun. Oh, hello, Sybil. You look magnificent. Look at you. You, back away from those crops. I didn't spend all this time attending sprouts, just to them squashed by heartless raiders. Easy now. We're not here to cause trouble. Just nomads looking to end this Ragnarok mess. If food's your concern, we have more than enough to share. I beg pardon. You'd invite a stranger like me to partake in your resources just like that? Of course, says three series should technically be in a cave, but okay. Can't say the word if we can't even help strangers we come across, right? Your offer is generous. Yet, I'm a banished woman, unworthy of your aid. My place is here, among the rest of the weeds. However, allow me to offer a gift as thanks for this unwarranted respect. May the birds who deem to keep me company guide your paths in return. Weird with wibbly fun. If this is what she wants, we can't stop her, but it is a bit concerning. Let's check in on her another time, okay, chief? Oh, okay. We get to pick a nice thing. Okay, thank you, Sybil. Golden Lady of the Earth. That's a good title, isn't it? That's a fancy title. Uh, welcome back, my little birds. By the look on your faces, I'm guessing we are still in this loop. Our very own time cage, but let's not give up. As long as I can provide support, you keep going right. From all the birds flying around, three of them suddenly perch on, uh, on you with one of their own feather in their beak. Choose one. Okay, so one magic per turn, two military per turn, or three supplies per turn. I mean, magic per turn would be quite handy because we don't have much of that going on. Uh, okay, so now what do we have to do? Spend 15, oh, I see. Spend 15 might to get rid of their negative effects. Oh yeah, let's go have a five. Boom. Okay, we had a bit of a fight. That was quite fun. Uh, yeah, we can't get round there, which is a bit of a nuisance. Okay, I think we need to get to the end of the turn. We need the magic pylons. Can we have the magic pylons, please? Um, because we need them to power all the things up. Although, can we start getting around here, possibly? Can we build some houses around here? Um, maybe if we need houses near to the things that need the, yeah one of those buildings maybe we need some houses so just put some over here look that could be handy i don't think we need the iron dig that's not that important right now the logging camp i mean we could put one in over here maybe just for old time's sake just drop one of those in uh right go to the next turn in fact is it worth putting a barracks down somewhere it's a bit too near to the other uh, barracks at the minute ah bother uh, we could, that gets us 13, hang on, 15. That gets us 15, Joe, you know let's do it. Let's get 15 military power out of that. There we go. And then go to the next turn. Heavy storm on the horizon. A huge storm is on the horizon. These are becoming more and more common since Ragnarok. Every turn, this threat will move around on the island. It's impossible to build during storms, so we better plan ahead. Right, okay, so it's going to start raining. So where is the rain? I can hear the rain. The rain is down here, not near us right now. However, we have our magical connecty pylon things, finally. Um, ah, the only thing is, I've connected that energy source to our hero statue. So we're going to have to somehow, very gingerly, somehow work out how we... Oh, bother rations. I've not done this very well. I've, I've not done this very well at all. Okay, hang on. We must be able to work out how to get this, this tree. We must be able to go in a gap in there somewhere. This kind of pylon thing. It must be able to go around somewhere. So, uh, yeah, that's the box thing, isn't it? That, oh, hang on, hang on. Hero statue. Can we build one? It needs a magical thing. Can we go to here and get a magical thing? No, we cannot. Ah, botherations. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, we need to get these five pylon things down to here. But I don't quite know how that's going to work. There's there's going to be a place where we can put these. It just We just need to go and find where it is, look. Um, ah. This, this could be a bit of a nuisance, couldn't it? We need to demolish a building. Can we demolish a building? Can we take that building down? Can we blow things up? 
No. Ah, no, this is terrible. Okay, what if... What if we put one of those there and then another one in here, look, to connect that up. So another one in there, that's two. We've got three more and we have got to go quite a long way with them. Um, that one can reach to somewhere around here, I think. Can that reach there? Can it go, go in there? There you go. There's three. And then get the fourth to go as far over as it can. Four. And then can the fifth reach? Just. Okay. <laughs> skin of our teeth, that is. Absolute skin of our teeth. But we got there. Okay, so we are now ready to leave here. We are currently in the dusk. Um, I like how the water just pours off into oblivion. That's quite fun. Like, it just sort of tumbles down into nothing. Right. Okay, so we can't... I mean, that's ready to go, but we haven't kind of uncovered the secrets of that yet. Uh, is it worth nipping onto the next turn and just seeing if we can get that? Because if we pick up extra seeds, do we do we bring them back? I'm not quite sure. Let's give it a go, shall we? So they've unlocked all that. Does that now mean that's open to us? No. No, look, that's very annoying. There is a thing there, though. What's that? A vault. A magic vault. Obtain artifact when two of those buildings are nearby. Oh, that's quite exciting. Um, I am tempted to just go. Although, he might find an exciting artifact in that cave. So we could potentially try to get a lot of might and go along here and then somehow get access to that tree. Because that tree is ready. It's ready and waiting for us. We just need a path to it. So explore just there, please. That could be quite good. And then we'll just build some housing. We've got some housing over here anyway. So just build some housing and get some more housing in. If we can look past the big tree thing, the bobs in the way. Get another house uh, just there. And put, please be a little house, little house there. And then we could get a barracks like that for 15 things. So 15 might, and then maybe we can look at that sort of at the end of next turn as well. We have another caravan thing. A group of cackling women sit huddled in a circle, playing a strange game of chance with dice carved from stag antlers. The eldest offers you to join with a crooked smile. After teaching you some simple rules, the old woman proposes a wager. Whatever you gamble, she will pay back in double, assuming you win yet she already licks her lips as though savouring your defeat. However, looking down here, I don't think we can do anything because we haven't got any supplies to bet. The minimum bet is 25 supplies and we only have 15. So, okay, we can't do anything. I do apologise, old woman who might possibly be completely about to rob us, but uh, no, we're not going to do anything with it, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. Little bit disappointing because that would have been quite fun, but not to worry. Okay. So I think, yeah, I've got loads of resources and things coming in. Loads of supplies coming in. Got a little bit of might going on. Got plenty of magic. So, oh, hang on. We can get another card. We can get another card. Uh, ah, a training ground. That might be quite good to top up the might. That could be quite useful. Yeah, we'll have that, please. Um, and then I think, yeah, we don't need to do anything else, do we? I don't think we can do much else. Right, so go to the next turn. We are going to get out of here. We're not going to go into the night time because that's going to be bad. Oh, there's a thing. There's a thing, a bad omen. The Ginnunga Gap is going to spawn just there. Okay, that's generally a bad thing. I would say that's bad, but he's nearly got over there, which is quite good. Um, and we could hurry up exploration with our Quicken thing. Yeah, okay, do that. Complete that exploration. Okay, we've got access to the tree. Hooray, there we go, look, right. Okay, we've got extra seeds. We're coming back with extra stuff. There is another thing here. Study the stars. Oh, okay. Ah, right, okay. It's another thing that our leader person has to do. But um, yeah, he's currently in a cave looking around. Okay, no, that's fine. <laughs> that's okay. Um, we can't build one of those types of buildings there. That's looking very bad over there. Um, I think, uh, yeah, let's move it. I want to see what he finds. I want to see what he finds. Uh, we will put a training ground in somewhere if we can. Just put it next to quite a few things. Um, put it there. 
That's another 25 might, in case we need it for anything. I don't know if we do anymore. I think we've kind of explored everywhere that we can look. But we'll stock up on it anyway. Right, go to... Go to here. Right. We've done the cave thing. Okay, so he's now looked in the cave at what first seems to be a rugged crevice with moss slick and wall steadily transforms into a hallway of Erter veined obsidian, perhaps as a former temple to one of the old gods reclaimed by the elements after Ragnarok. Whatever the case, you soon reach a wide open chamber where precious relics lay undisturbed. Though you regret disturbing the sanctity of this place, its powers may be necessary for your people's survival. Conqueror's Looking Glass. Each time five buildings are placed, double the range of the next building. Oh, oh, that's quite handy. So the building, whatever it is, the six building you place will then have a greater range. So you could put it further away and maybe you know, get, get into some more space or whatever. Okay, yeah, that's quite handy. Do we keep that? Do we keep that forever? Or is that just for this particular sort of world we're on? Because we're going to go in a minute. We're going to leave momentarily. Um, we're going to struggle. Uh, well, that's just a story thing, isn't it? And we can't do... Uh, oh, hang on. Where's the... Ah, that's not a great thing. Botherations. We could. Could we put a training ground round here? And then just activate whatever that thing is. The old ruins. That might be an interesting thing to do. Because, yeah, we are going to go soon. So, um, yeah, do you know what? Let's give that a go. We might not... Ah, we might not be able to. I suspect we're not going to have enough housing to do that kind of thing. If we put that just there, and then put the training ground in. Oh yeah, there we go. We can we can put that in. Uh, choose a building card to add to your deck. Ooh, a golden card, you say? Yeah, we'll have a market, please. Um, it gives you 40 supplies per turn. Yeah, we'll take that absolutely. That sounds amazing. I think we go to the next turn, and then if we can put one of those buildings down there with the crate icon thing, then we will do to get another seed. If not, we'll just get out of it. We shall just skedaddle. We will see. The market. The market could go in, but it needs three... Ah, it needs three production-y buildings around it. Ah, bother. Okay, now that's that's very particular. That's not going to fit around here. Okay, do you know what? No, we're going to power up the ship and we are going to get out of here. There is one tree that we couldn't get to, that looked relatively straightforward to begin with, but never mind. Okay, so I think, yes, let's get out of here, please. We have a spare seed, which is quite handy. So there we go, fly off. Um, I should be picked up some useful stuff. And time left. Where are we? Uh, random encounter, random encounter. And then we've got... Uh, oh, yeah, hang on. We just keep going, do we? So, random encounter. How do we go back? How do we how do we go back home? I'm not quite sure how, if we go back home. Ah, there is danger there. If we go to that, the Ginnungagap will catch us and add negative cards into our deck. That sounds terrible. We'll go there and then maybe go to that mine? Is that okay? That's for, Oh, no, hang on. Hang on, we won't have time to do all that. We can have a random encounter there for minus five time. That's minus, oh no, because we'll be nearer then. We're going to go there. Go to a random encounter, choose a rare card. Oh, oh, this is very good. Trading post, plus three supplies every single turn per housing. That could be massive. If you've got a lot of housing, yeah, we'll have that, thank you. Um, and then head over to the abandoned mine. So what do we find in here? Is it just another map that we play on? Okay, yeah, it's another map that we go and play on. Okie doke, yeah, right, this is all fine. So yeah, it looks a bit different to the other ones, look. It looks a little bit kind of dark and spooky and mysterious. There's a weird kind of, ah, there's a blocked path over there. There is, I don't know what that is, water? Is that water over there? There's a tree there, a tree there, a tree. There's plenty of trees around. There are four? Are there four trees? Oh, like a big crane thing. Okay, yeah, there we are in a sort of spooky, mysterious mine type thing. Oh, and it looks like we didn't bring the spare seed with us. We went out of our way last time to pick up an extra seed and we've not sort of carried it with us and bought it here. Oh, 
Okay, that seems like a little bit of an oversight, but never mind. Okay, we're going to wrap things up very soon, but before we do that, we're just going to pop back to the halt and take all our things with us. So we've picked up on our little journey here, two blueprints, 24 boxes of kind of building materials, whatever it was, and three magical acorns. So I think with that done, we can now, oh, there you go. We get a loop score type thing and that's our deck and it gives information, all that kind of stuff. Okay, right, that's good. So yeah, did we... Did we complete everything that we were supposed to complete? Uh, I know, I think, yeah, the whole loop is that. And that was our first bit. That was second bit. So the loops look like they have kind of three tiers to them. So we completed one. We went to the second. And then we didn't get to the third. We could have done, but I just didn't complete the kind of Dwarven Forge thing. Because I thought, you know, we've seen how the game works and what it's all about. And all that kind of stuff. But I thought, yeah, we should nip back to the hole just to see what that now does to us over here. Wait, the halt? We're back and we're alive? Th that can't be. The Dark Fog killed us. I even remember what dying felt like. No, it didn't kill you. It didn't kill you at all. I just quit the thing and went back to the halt to get the goodies back. I didn't let you die. It was fine. Can't say I'm surprised, says that thing there. Hello, who are you? Uh, the way you're all squirming and screaming when the Ginnung Gap caught you seemed pretty memorable. Hilarious too. W what is this kind of hell squirrel thing about what the is that squirrel talking of course i talk says ratatoskr i'm a fluffy little messenger and i've got a pretty interesting delivery too ahem if you wish to save our world from doom come to the world tree's uppermost boughs you'll find the answer there okay save our world hang on who are you really and who told you this Sorry, lady, giving names wasn't part of my contract, and this will be way more entertaining to watch if you clods don't know what's out there. Besides, I'm sure we'll meet again real soon, because I'll be watching all of you die real closely. <laughs> Doodaloo! Okay, so we're back at the halt, but now, can we build things? Can we repair the workshop? I think we can. Okay, so we can fix up the workshop, and now I imagine we can do more things in here. Can we build things in the workshop then? So is that what we just started? Visit the greenhouse. Ah, visit the workshop. Okay, so obtain new halt buildings. So let's spend our blueprints to do that. Okay, so we now have buildings that we can build in the halt. And that's kind of our permanent thing. So we have a little sort of base here. Oh, now we can build these things. Oh, we have nine matter. That's what it was, matter. So we could build a medium house. We could build a tree. Ah, a tree would get us some matter, would it? Uh, a research centre, we can't build that right now, but each island starts with extra magic-y stuff, a medium house, the loop starts with one extra food. Oh, oh, this is quite good. I'm going to build that house because it's got a little kind of farm in front of it. Can we build one of those? Oh, and look, we build it over here like we build normally. Like we build on the actual main levels. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay, I like this. Um, Let's build it... Can we put it right on the edge over here? Because that's quite nice, isn't it? That'd be quite a nice little house over there. There we go. We've built a new thing. Right, wonderful. And then just nip over to the greenhouse. We can do that upgrade there. So we can get ourselves a watchtower. That unlocks a new might building. And the watchtower gives us two might every single turn. Uh, yeah, do you know what? For the sake of it, for old time's sake, we'll unlock that as well. Um, that leaves us with one blueprint and two golden acorns, and four matter. And with that done, I think we'll wrap things up for now with our little look at Roots of Vigdrasil, or however it's supposed to be pronounced, because I think we have had a pretty good look at the game to see what it's all about and how it works and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, I've really enjoyed it. It's been really, really good fun to play. I think it looks wonderful. I mean, that's you know, one important thing. It looks very, very good. I like the visuals on it. But in terms of how the game plays out, it's really interesting. I do like the kind of the fact that the main levels you play on are just sort of transient levels where you put things down to get resources, but you don't have to really care about them too much. They're not like permanent fixtures on the levels out there when you're exploring. You're sort of building to get your resources and get your magic seed things and then get out of there. I quite like the fact that you've got those levels out there that you can just sort of build and then forget about. And then you have your kind of main base halt level over here, which can then be upgraded with similar buildings with our little houses and things and all that kind of stuff. And then you get your little sort of uh, seed upgrades and things as well. So you kind of have your two 
areas where you build, some which you can just forget about because they don't matter when you've left them, that's it, they're gone. And this one here is a little bit more permanent. I do quite like that and I think it works well with the kind of, yeah, the different things you have to gather and the different cards you can build and these sort of, yeah, proximity sort of, you know, things have to be within range of other things to get more bonuses out of it. It works really well. It works really, really well as a game and I quite like the sort of writing as well. You've got characters in there which makes it feel a little bit more sort of immersive. There's more going on when there are characters rather than it just being, you know, sort of go over there and do that thing, please. There's kind of people behind the reasoning of why you're doing what you're doing as well. And you've got hero characters going exploring as well. You've got little kind of events to deal with and things you can choose. So yeah, there's a lot going on and it's really good. It's really, really enjoyable. It works very well indeed. And I'm glad we took the time to go and have a look at it. It's out today. I think it's been in sort of development for a while, but I think today it goes into early access, I believe. So uh, yeah, it's on Steam right now. There is a link in the video description to the Steam store page. If you want to go and have a little look, then you can do so. But yes, we shall wrap things up for the moment. Hopefully you did enjoy this because I really enjoyed playing it. It's been a lot of fun. So hopefully you enjoyed watching. If you did, please do leave a like. That would be most marvelous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up today with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I'll see you next time. The City of Cupboard, it can be full of geeks, very loyal geeks to me. It's this sort of stripy hill. That's interesting. Oh, stripy mountain, sorry. I, I downgraded you to a hill. Just really irritate the Norwegians. Everyone had gold. People were lying on beds of gold. They were eating gold. They were trying to wash their hair with gold. There was gold literally everywhere in our empire.